But what we're worried about is kind of this, I guess you would call it this archway, right? Uh, especially the engineer uh, was talking about the tolerances and specifically the chatter. There's not a lot of, of rigidity sort of this way. And so as you're machining the side of this thing, it's kind of hitting it with those flutes. There's a chance it might chatter. Now, typically, if you start to see that, you would just slow down your speed. Uh, so the flutes slow down and then you don't reach that resonant frequency. But uh, we don't really want to slow anything down. We want to go quickly. We want to get a good tolerance on this. We don't want it being flexible. So we're going to run this in SOLIDWORKS simulation. So I've run SOLIDWORKS simulation before. I took the simulation class, but I've never run a frequency study. So I'm going to go into Solid Professor and search for frequency. Looks like I've got a couple of lessons here. So this entire course it covers SOLIDWORKS simulation professional, which uh, gives me a lot of capabilities for simulation. And in this lesson, I have multiple different versions available. So if you're working with an older version of the software, you can download the files uh, and work in that version so that any enhancements aren't included. So you can see exactly how it worked at that version. This frequency study tells me how to do it. It's a pretty straightforward process, but there's other things in Solid Professor that are extremely useful and helpful. Uh, if you're using SOLIDWORKS, 3D Experience, uh, any other CAD program, even Mastercam uh, has a fantastic library of lessons and tech tips and other videos and learning resources that are really helpful. So no matter what tools you're using, there's some really great uh, lessons here. There's even things like GD&T or, or graphics visualization. Uh, that gives you the capabilities to sort of on your own learn additional topics as needed to help you with what you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and use what I've learned in Solid Professor. I'll create a new frequency study. I need to apply a material. This is an aluminum 2024. That's going to give me the density, which is the weight. It's also going to give me the stiffness. I need to tell it where it's going to be fixed. So we'll fix it on the bottom four feet here. That's where it's going to be grabbed by that fixture. And that's it. A frequency study checks to see how it's going to naturally vibrate as it gets loaded up by being repeatedly hit by that flute on that cutter. So these are the results. You get two major things from a frequency study. You get the shape and you can see that arch and the overall uh, structure is kind of moving around a lot. Anything around 70,000 RPM is going to create a problem. And we to get to 70,000 RPM, we'd need to run 12,000 RPM and six flutes. We're not going to do that. So we should be OK. But I want to take into account also the flexibility in the machine. So I want to make sure I'm really far away from that. I'm going to run another quick study here with just structural analysis. So this one says, OK, if I push on that with the cutter, um, how much deflection is it going to give us? So that deflection says, okay, when I take my spring pass, knowing how much force the tool is going to apply, how much deflection am I going to get? Uh, and this is quite a bit of force, and we're seeing right around a thousandth of an inch. So when I take that spring pass, the force is going to be way less, meaning the deflection should be way less than a thousandth of an inch, which should suit our needs just fine. 